Yeah, it's that good. Okay, so let's get started. Here again is the Addiction Palette 5. It is so incredibly pretty. I'm gonna call this like my magical sunset palette from now on. I don't know, it is it is too pretty for words. And let me show you what I'm talking about. This is different from our other palettes. So let me show you why. You can see each color, let me just rub my fingers on some of the colors here. Each of the colors are iridescent, iridescent, sorry. So as the light hits them, they're going to look completely different. They just sort of change color. Not sure how well that's focusing, but when you see this palette on, they are just gorgeous. They've got that, they just catch the light and they're so, so, so pretty. So I've only had a chance to use this palette one time. I'm going to kind of make this up as I go. So I'm going to start out, I believe, and use this really pretty gold. It's called Vindictive. And I'm going to start putting this on my lid area. And I'm going to kind of focus uh, toward the inner corner of my eye because I'm going to use lots of colors in this palette. So let me just get a little bit. I'm going to actually use my angled shadow brush only because that's the first one I grabbed. I kind of just grab whatever. Uh, when it comes to applying it to your lid, it doesn't really matter on that. So I'm going to put here. And I'm going to bring it on up a little bit. And I'm going to focus that also. Like I said, in the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to come down in just a second to highlight with it. Just come around your tear duct area. That way you get that really nice highlight. I'm thinking that brilliant, this silver color would be really pretty to come in that area as well. Okay, that's not scary. I was actually really, not scared, but I saw it as a, a challenge when I saw this palette because I thought, oh my goodness, what am I going to do with those colors? I mean, I knew I'd figure something out, but when you, the, I think they look scary or they're going to look scary to some people, but they're not. They're not scary at all. They're so pretty. All right, so let's take Suspicious, which is this third color here, and I'm going to apply this from the middle of my lid out to the outer corner. These go on so, so silky smooth too. And with very little effort, they go on so easily. You kind of can't mess up with these, I feel. That was the first thing I noticed because I used it at convention for our gala night and I just, I literally kept piling color upon color and it didn't matter what I did, it kept looking good. You know, I, I didn't, I never got to the point where I was like, ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. It just kept looking so good, so pretty. All right, so there are those two colors together. I am now gonna take my crease brush and I think I'm gonna use this vintage color. If you guys have the Splurge Color Defiant, it is very similar. Where's my finger pointing? Oh, it looks so different in the camera. Wow, it looks different. It's that iridescent. In person, vintage is more of a copper. Um, from what I'm seeing, what you're seeing, it looks very pink. It is not. That's crazy. It looks so different, but it is a copper color in person. So maybe you'll be able to see once I get it on. That's kind of crazy. I haven't um, flipped that around to see. All right, so I'm gonna come up in my crease area, uh, well, my outer V and my crease with this. And I'm gonna come up a little bit higher because I'm gonna take a fourth color here in just a second. Something unexpected. And we're gonna use it as well. All of these colors are in the same palette for a reason. You can use them all together. They all go. You wouldn't think they would and they're colors you wouldn't probably put together but they go, I promise. It's really hard to put this on using my phone, by the way. I'm so used to my little, nice little makeup mirror. I love this color so much, I'm actually gonna come down and use it on my lower lash line as well. I'm very lightly applying that there. A really good color for that. I don't know if you can tell, but it really makes your eyes pop too. This is one of those colors, and I really think this whole palette is just going to be great for everyone. Really good colors. 
All right, so there's that. Okay, I'm gonna okay. take my same crease brush and let me just kind of wipe that off. We're gonna come in with Fearless. This is a really pretty plum purple right here. Might look a little brighter on your side than mine. I mean, it is bright, but it is more in the plum family. So I'm just gonna come right here in this area. I'm not gonna go all the way up. In my V, I'm just gonna make a baby V to add in that extra color. And it is really hard to see what I'm doing. Let me come in closer. I hope you guys can see these gorgeous colors together. They are just, they're stunning. They really are. And you see why I'm gonna call it my sunset palette. This is also going to smoke it out a little bit, which you guys know I love to do. I like to kind of add smokiness to everything. What do you think about that? I'm going to look in my mirror and see what this looks oh, like. Oh, so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Okay, I'm going to get my hair out of the way. I'm going to come back in with my first brush. And I'm going to grab some more of that Vindictive. That was the gold color. I want to add a little bit more here. Because I really want you to be able to see all the different colors I'm wearing. So I'm just going to do a touch there. And back around my tear duct area. Okay. Wow. <gasps> this palette is gorgeous. Those colors are insane, they're insane. Oh man, I can't wait for you guys to try these. These these are like, these are my happy colors. Wow, I'm just staring at myself, I'm sorry. I had a moment with myself for a minute. Um, let me point out before I do my liner and mascara, I'm wearing our new Splash liquid lipstick. It's matte, all of our liquid lipsticks are matte. This color is called Sentimental and it is beautiful and look how well it goes with this. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so let me let me fill my liner okay. here. And before I do that, sorry, I forgot to blend. I got so excited about these colors, I totally didn't blend. Let me wipe off one of my deluxe brushes and I'm just gonna blend some of these together here. So it just flows and it's just this big, beautiful iridescentness on my eyeball. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Oh yeah. I honestly think this is one of those palettes you can wear and people, <coughs> excuse me, are going to just be like, what do you have on your eyes? And they're going to sell it just like that because people are going to want to know. I haven't seen colors like this. They're, and I think the video does not do it justice at all. Man, they're just, they're gorgeous. They are, I am just dying. Like, they're so pretty. Okay, I have decided I'm gonna use Irate from Addiction Palette 3. This is what I use a lot for my liner. Or I use a pigment, and I'm using my liner shader brush. So I'm just getting the liner brush uh, wet. Sorry, let's get my hair out of the way. And so my brush is wet, and I'm gonna come in. Oh, this is so hard to do on my phone. And I'm gonna follow my lash line. And I'm gonna wing it out a little, which is really hard to do when I'm not looking in a real mirror. Okay, hopefully that's not too bad. I'll know in a minute when I look up close in my mirror. Let's do the other side. Just a little bit more. Okay, I'll have to correct that little spot there. I'll do that. 
Let me correct that and then I'll come back and we will do quickly do mascara. All right, mascara time. Probably gonna speed my video up because you guys have seen me apply mascara like a hundred times. So I'm just gonna do one eye, I'll speed it up. But I still like for you to see the wow factor of this stuff. Oh, I do have just one coat of gel on, by the way, you can see. I did that earlier. All right, so here's the finished look. Mascara, everything else I've got on. Ooh, lordy, it's pretty. It's so pretty. I am loving it so much. I cannot wait for you guys to try this. It will be releasing very, very soon. So check with your presenter, or if I'm your presenter, I'll be posting it all over the world as soon as it's released, so stay tuned. Keep your eyes open. I can't wait for you to try it. Bye, guys.